Hello everybody, welcome to another Sketchbook Sunday episode. Uh, today I am going to be just doing a regular old chat uh, while showing you how I painted this, um, I guess, nature autumn scene almost. Uh, I feel like I haven't done a Sketchbook Sunday in a super duper long time. And um, I, that's mostly because I've been painting a lot of paintings that uh, are very specific, like a specific object. And I usually only do Sketchbook Sunday chats when I'm painting a landscape painting that is, um, not that it's really complicated, but there are a lot of steps involved that it's very complicated to explain exactly what I'm doing. And most of the time, and especially in this painting, I improvise a lot and I just kind of make things up as I go. So it's a lot more difficult to provide a verbal step-by-step -step process of how I'm painting it because I don't really know what I'm doing myself. Um, so you're welcome to uh, slow the video down or follow along and paint along, um, but I'm just going to be chatting about some things since I haven't done one of these in a really long time. So I am filming slash painting this guy in March of this year and you probably won't be seeing this video until July. Uh, and this is because I'm trying to pre-paint as many tutorials as I possibly can before summer starts. So every week I've been painting an entire month's worth of paintings, which is kind of wild. Like for July, I needed, I had to paint nine paintings uh, to cover, you know, the two a week every Sunday and Wednesday. Um, and just thinking about how I used to struggle to just do one or two a week, I, I just wonder, <laughs> I think I've improved my process of how I, um, I guess, prepare for the paintings. But the reason why I want to pre-paint all these paintings in time for the summer uh, is because I really want to focus much more on my gardening and I want a lot more free time to garden this year rather than it being like this hectic process where I'm just running around from my job to painting to, to gardening and having very little time to do things I enjoy like canoeing or cycling. So... If I can pre-paint all my videos, then I won't have to stress about that too much in, um, in the summer when I do want to go for a bike ride or I do want to go for a canoe ride or I want to spend an extra long amount of time in my garden just kind of puttering around looking at my plants and not worry about painting. Um, here in the winter, like even now, it's it's almost the end of March and there's still like 20 to 30 centimeters on the ground uh, of snow. So it's just a really good time to pre-paint and, you know, just get a lot of painting out while I, you know, it's not very nice outside to go for a bike ride and I can't go canoeing because the lakes are frozen. Um, so... That is my justification for pre-painting all of these paintings. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this super speedy uh, painting tutorial slash uh, chat. Uh, if you did, I would really appreciate if you subscribed to my channel um, and or click like on this video because it does help me grow my channel. Thank you all very, very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.